So for the last week or so, I have been trying Virtual DJ 8 um, because I want to do a comparison video with uh, Tractor, Serato, and Recordbox. And to be honest with you, uh, given sort of the reputation that Virtual DJ has within the industry, I honestly wasn't expecting a whole heck of a lot. So lo and behold, when I download it, and I start really digging into it, um, it has a lot of very, very cool features. So let's take a look at some of them. One, let's take a look at the waveform up top. So if you look here, you can see that these um, boxes look a little bigger than these. Well, this is the beginning of your beat, first beat. So as long as these are matched up, you know that you're, you're in sync. Again, that's, that's pretty cool. It has the ability, obviously, to do uh, waveform analysis or, or view your waveforms like Serato and the vertical standpoint so that you can see that. And I'm just scrolling my mouse so I can make it larger or smaller. So that's one thing. The waveforms are a lot easier to analyze. You can't even do this in Tractor, right? And to make sure that uh, your songs are in sync. Two, everything is scalable. If I'm on a tiny screen, look at that, it shrinks and everything shrinks. And then if I wanna make things larger, hey, look at that, I've made everything larger. This interface is 4K capable. So I have a 4K television, I could hook my laptop up and everything would scale appropriately. That's also very cool. Um, if you look at something like Serato, you know, their graphics are kind of dated. And if you look at that on a 4K monitor, everything looks unbelievably tiny. So it's very, very hard to read. Even on my iMac, looking at Serato uh, can be a little bit painful. Three, you can create filters. I've already created a test filter here. So if I look, we can take a look at it. It says, hey, go through all my songs. If the BPM is greater than 125 and the BPM is less than 130, uh, show what it is. That's, um, so this gives you the ability to manage all your songs. By uh, You can look at all your tags, put things together, look at specific genres. Uh, specific BPMs. I mean, here are all the different kinds of fields that you can sort things on. It has add-ons. So we're going to take the filter um, <clears throat> to the next level. This was an add-on. I didn't even have to create this. Go to my library. This is already done for you. So if I want to look at songs um, in a specific BPM range. Hey, look at that. It goes through my catalog of the database and it creates a smart filter for that. If I want to look at something in a specific key, let's take a look at two. Now look, it does two A and B, which are compatible. So I can do that. Um, it has genre in here which is pretty cool. Um, so that's another thing. This was an add-on. I didn't even have to, to do anything. So these kinds of things let you, you know, find songs to mix with. 
as opposed to trying to remember everything. Um, it allows you to, the next thing would be it allows you to add in VSTs. So if you're familiar with Pioneer, you might be familiar with their RMX 1000, which is kind of cool. Let's say here's another thing that I thought was kind of interesting. I don't particularly like this interface. Let's say that I want to switch it up a little bit. We can come here, go to the interface. Look at that. The next thing, um, if you, you know, one of the pain points of starting with a particular piece of software is that you create all your cue points and your libraries and, and playlists and all that kind of stuff. So then when you go to a new software, in most cases, you have to start over from scratch, which can be very time consuming. Well, when I opened up Virtual DJ, it automatically went and found all of my Serato crates and imported that in, and then also imported in, you know, all of the the relevant information for each song as well as cue points. So I think that's kind of cool. That's a huge, massive, massive, uh, massive time saver. The other thing that's kind of cool is uh, it has these things called points of interest. So normally you have things like your hot cues and your loops with other programs. This actually has quite a large uh, variety of different um, points that you can have. Um, so here's my first cue point that I've created. Uh, I can change the name of it. Let's call that, say, intro. We can change the name of it if we wanted to. I'm just going to leave it as a cube, hot cue. Um, but you can see there's a hot cue. We can save a loop. There are these things called actions. So let's say, for example, in this particular song, I wanted to on the fourth beat to create uh, or open up or uh, start like an echo effect. I can create an action in here to be able to do that. Um, they have remix points which basically allow, allow you to um, take these points that are within the song and then create sample points within the song which is kind of cool. There's the standard beat grid anchor. Um, there's these auto mix points, which are automatically generated 
when virtual dj8 does the uh, analysis so you'll look and you'll see like this mix full start it is an auto mix point you'll see that the q point is invisible and you can see what it is um, and then lastly you can come in here and you can change the color so you could you could say hey for all as you're going through this system uh, everything that's an intro I'm going to make yellow so that when you import the song and you see yellow you automatically know without having to check that um, it's going to be the intro to the song you might call even though I know this is not the case um, actually let's go here We might call this uh, the break. We might say that breaks are going to be, I don't know, green. So you can color code this. There's so much uh, flexibility in leveraging these, ty these kinds of um, uh, point types. So that's also very cool. So I haven't, like, there's so much more stuff to go through. You know, if you have um, a song in here and it doesn't have a picture, it'll automatically go out, find it, download it uh, for each song. So you never have to go through and see anything that doesn't have, um, you know, kind of a have a picture. Um, obviously, we've already talked about the filters. We haven't talked about performance, but you can see all the different kinds here. The sampler, hot cues, beat jumps, loops, remix points. Um, we haven't talked about the, the ability to program stuff. So I'm going to be doing a full review. Well, I actually did a full review, and the review took 40 minutes. So I need to edit that thing down. I wanted to create something that was a little bit... Um, less daunting so I think I've done that but um, you know if you want to try something else you know you're in Serato and you you know you want to try some different software to do some different things see what else is out there um, give it a shot you know I think this will be and they make it especially you know this supports over 200 different controllers so if you plug your controller in it'll find it and largely speaking it'll work right out of the box so hopefully you're getting the idea that I'm really excited by this uh, this product and um, you'll be getting some more uh, videos from me about it as always um, if you found any value in this please like it if you have any questions or thoughts don't forget to comment and um, subscribe there's lots more uh, great content coming your way. And uh, as always, cheers.